all these are eye condition due to vitamin A deficiency. Don't worry, I will show them again and I will teach you. First, let us learn about WHO classification of vitamin A deficiency. WHO classification of vitamin A deficiency is very very important for your exam like NEET, PG, FMG, INISET examination. Every year they will give you this XN, X1A, X1B, X2, X3A, X3B, XS and XF. All these have different meanings. So what are the meanings? Let us learn about it. XN XN first look at the first option XN that is night blindness XN is night blindness X1 can be divided into X1A and X1B X1A and X1B X1A is the conjunctival gerosis that means drying of the conjunctiva and x1b means betot spot from the from the b word you can remember b for betot spot b for betot spot so x1b if there is in the option for betot spot that will be the answer they generally give a picture of betot spot and ask what is the classification so x1b remember not x1a x1a is conjunctival gerosis where does the bitter spot occur it occurs in the conjunctiva it occurs on the conjunctiva so x1a is conjunctival gerosis x1b is bitter spot what is xn you can easily remember n is actually night blindness from the n you can remember x2 now come to x2 x2 is corneal xerosis now conjunctival xerosis we have completed in x1a and x1b is the bitter spot so x2 is corneal xerosis cornea is a transparent part of the eye you know it so that is cornea corneal xerosis when the cornea is dry that is x2 x2 remember corneal drying corneal gerosis is x2 now what are x3s x3 has two part x3a x3b just like x1 x1a x1b similarly x3a x3b x3a is keratomalacia x3b is also keratomalacia both are keratomalacia or corneal ulcer or corneal ulcer both are ulcer basically x3a x3b are corneal ulcer where is the ulcer in the cornea where is the ulcer in the cornea in the transparent portion of the eye so x3a x3b are corneal ulcer or keratomalacia now how can we differentiate x3a from x3b x3a is corneal ulcer or keratomalacia less than one third of the corneal involvement less than one third of the corneal involvement and x3b is more than one third of the corneal involvement so when it is less than one third it is x3a when it is more than one third it is x3b xs is very easy x is is s for scar so corneal scarring is there scar tissue formation on the cornea so x s s means scar and x f that is also very easy f means fundus xerophthalmic fundus so in case of xerophthalmia dry eye there is the fundus that is vitamin a deficiency fundus that is xerophthalmic fundus x f from the f you remember fundus xerophthalmic fundus x s is s for scar corneal scar let us revise once again from x n n means night blindness x1 can be divided into x1 a and x1 b x1 b you know b for bitter spot x1 a where does the bitter spot occur in the conjunctival so conjunctival xerosis x2 automatically becomes the corneal xerosis x2 is the corneal xerosis what about x3 x3 can be divided into x3a and x3b x3a and b both are keratomalacia or you can say corneal ulcer 
X3A is corneal ulcer less than one third and X3B is corneal ulcer more than one third. X3A is corneal ulcer or keratomalacia less than one third. X3B is corneal ulcer or keratomalacia more than one third. XS is S for scar tissue on the cornea. So corneal scarring due to gerophthalmia XS and XF is F for fundus, so xerophthalmic fundus. So very very easy. Let's revise once again. XN N for night blindness. X1 A and B. X1 B is bitter spot. X1 A is conjunctival xerosis. X2 is the corneal xerosis. X3 A and B both are corneal ulcers or keratomalacia. X3 A is corneal ulcer less than one third. X3B is corneal ulcer more than one third. XS, S means scar tissue, so scar tissue on the cornea, corneal scarring, and XF is the xerophthalmic fundus. F for fundus, xerophthalmic fundus. Easily you can remember like this. Now I will show you the pictures so that you can understand all these conditions better way. Now look at this. This is actually conjunctival xerosis look at the conjunctiva do not look the at the, look at the cornea do look at the conjunctiva where is the conjunctiva surrounding the cornea you have conjunctiva the surrounding portion of the eye you look at it the white portion you can see it has been dried now look at this this is the bitter spot you can see how a white color foamy deposition has been there that is the bitter spot. Can you remember what is the classification of the bitter spot? X1 A or B? B easily you can remember B for bitter spot. So X1 B is the bitter spot. Now let us show another picture. Look at this. This is the corneal gerosis. Can you remember the transparent portion of the eye dry up in corneal gerosis? Now what is the classification? X. 2 x2 is the corneal classification corneal xerosis corneal xerosis the cornea has become dried and that is why it is known as corneal xerosis that is why it is known as corneal xerosis look at this portion this is keratomalacia i told you corneal ulcer or keratomalacia corneal ulcer or keratomalacia now, keratomalacia or corneal ulcer, both in the same group, remember X3, X3 A and B, both are keratomalacia or conjunctival so or, or corneal ulcer or corneal ulcer, not conjunctival, corneal ulcer. X3 A is less than one third, X3 B is more than one third. So, this is the end of this video. If you like this video, make a thumbs up and please subscribe. Do not go without subscribing. Many students go without subscribing do not go without subscribing please subscribe it is a small task for you but it motivates me